Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayelaudu Watimele and it's been a minute without the videos. In today's tutorial, I'll be talking about how I will retouch this image. This is an image I shot with uh, some other... I collaborated with a stylist and other creatives like me to uh, run. So I'll be showing you how I will retouch this image. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Welcome back guys. So today we'll be talking about how I will retouch this image and how I will color grade this image. Uh, like I said earlier, this image was shot last week with a set of creatives like me. Um, so for this image, I'm going for a vintage look, some vintage classy fashion look. Uh, I've not worked on this image before. I'm just heading into Photoshop to see what I can do with this uh, image. And see how the color grade will turn out so first things first i'll do my uh basic adjustments uh which i already did here i'm not touching my white balance at all because i kind of got the image right from camera i have the i had the uh, mood set right from camera um I, all i did was just reduce the highlights increase a bit of shadows and uh reduced the vibrance so this was the before and this is the after just minimal to no difference at all so after doing that i'll just open the image in photoshop and wait for it to load so here we are in the magical world of photoshop first thing first i will uh, try to remove any form of distraction in this image uh, like this like the leg, um, the leg of my light bender mic on and to do that I'll just pick my lasso to always create a duplicate uh, layer and to do that you press ctrl J on your keyboard to create a new duplicate layer then pick your polygonal lasso to to remove the distraction around here then um, shift f5 to fill the area up so now that that is away uh, we will zoom in to see any skin imperfection uh, the model has a, the model has a nice uh, skin so i don't see any imperfection just few ones that i may just have to remove like these ones all right just that i think she has a, she has a nice skin so there's no need for me to do any um skin retouch except i will just um do the dodging bone just to bring out more structure of the image uh yeah just that so i'll just duplicate this two then run my dodge and burn action on the retouching academy okay since that is done I'll just pick my brush. I'll set my flow to five because I want to bring the uh, highlights out. I want to drag out the highlights a lot. So I'll just pick, I'll set my flow to five. Uh, I'll zoom in and just start working on the highlights. Like I said, I just want it to be, I want the highlights to be popping. So I'll just put on the highlights like so. Around here to like so. Like this. The 
the image was shot during the uh, golden hour so it was a natural light it's, it's a natural light image so I might just have to use my dodge and bone to bring out more structure of the image unlike when I use the uh, stroke that will give me ash light uh, let me just turn this off for a minute and see how we're doing so this is the before this is the after before after quite nice we're still doing well around here yeah around here because of the red light and here too yeah so the before the after mm -hmm. it's nice nice so now i'll pick my uh bone just run few bones around this just to add the dynamics to the image i'm sorry my voice is not too so loud i'm struggling with kata so i guess you just have to take me like this all right so this is the before this is the after before after i just brought out some highlighted area just highlighted some areas out on the image um i want to use this touch and bond to bring out the curves around this clothes area just to bring out those shapes better mm -hmm. yeah like this so this is the before this is the after before after i will just reduce the opacity so let's say somewhere around 80 or 70. i think 70 is fine for me zoom out and let's see before after before after. i think 70 is fine for me so now i'll run my uh oh sorry now i'll just run my uh micro dojo and bone to just feel i feel the skin is just perfect because i'm not doing the beauty retouch or whatever it is it's just the fashion we are uh, more particular about so now that i've done this the next thing to do is grade this image now this is why i keep telling people always make sure you get your image around 70 percent of the image you have in your head right from the camera so you just do less job in posts or whatever it is now i already set the mode for this image all that is needed now is just to add the to color grade and to just make it more okay for this now i'm going for that vintage look so i'll come down to my color lookups and photoshop has a lookup a lot uh that I can use to achieve that look. I'll come down to my uh, Fuji Eternal 250 Kodak by Adobe. So I'll just run it. Yeah, I think this is perfect. Okay, I might just need to bring down the uh, opacity a little. Around there is fine. It just gives the image it's that faded cinematic uh, look. So I think this is fine for me. I might just need to add a little bit of flare. Let's see how do we create our flare. Uh, pick a color close to the color of the flare you want to use. Then uh, increase your brush. Pick your soft round brush. Adness zero. That is your soft round brush. Now increase the size of your brush. Then just tap. Oh, sorry. My, I forgot my flow is still on 5. So increase your flow to 100, then just tap. Then change the blending mode to screen or overlay or anything that just brings it out better. So this is our flare. Ctrl C to bring out the uh, transformation. 
border so you can transform and add the flare to whatever you want it to come in from i think from around there should do like there should do or what if it is in this color what if it is white let's see white because i'm not sure this color is making more sense uh let's try white since it is white i'll just use i'll just use the soft light because it's just soft light i need uh let's see bring it up like that um Mm, I think this works more. This is the before, this is the after. Now, nah, I'll go back to the uh, orange. I think that one works more better. So, uh, new layer. Sorry. around yeah should do paint screen like that so control T I think this is where the sunlight is coming from so it should come like that yeah like so is fine I think the flesh should come from somewhere around here since I might need to tone down or change the hue of this uh, flare because I don't think the flare is uh, matching with the whole scenario with the color of the scenario we've made so I'll just go down to my hue and saturation adjustment there I'll clip it in on this then just drag it in like this I think around here is fine I think around here is fine. Now, this uh, step I made for this uh, flare is for people that don't have the uh, alien. Is it the alien skin? Let me see. I think it is the alien skin software. But if you have the um, alien skin software, you can as well just turn this layer off, make a stamp layer of everything you've done. Oh uh, yeah, make a stamp layer. Then pick, go to filter, alien skin exposure X4. So in exposure and uh, okay exposure X4, you'll be able to add flare to the image automatically, computerly generated instead of you going through the stress of uh, picking it yourself in Photoshop. So we we'll just wait for that to play out. So here we are, right in uh, alien skin photo in alien skin exposure. So it automatically added the last light effect and texture I used. So this was the before, and this is the after. This is the before, and this is the after. I might just turn off this texture because I won't be needing the texture. It's just the light I'll be needing. And I'll just bring down the opacity a little bit. I'll bring down the zoom. Uh, I think this is better. So this is the before, this is the after, before, after. And you can also pick other, uh, other options. You can go through other options around here. They have a lot of light streaks. Oh, I think this one should do. Okay. I think this should do. Uh, around here should be fine. Okay, I'm just going to zoom this forward a little bit. And just reduce the opacity. Uh, 
like so. So let me just add a little bit of texture just to give it that grunginess, just to give it that grungy look. Uh, let's go. Mm. I think this should do. The before, the after. I think this should do. So this is our before. This is our after. Before and after. I might just reduce this opacity a bit more. But let's see if I can get another soil flare. I think this still does it better. Let's increase this. It is a positive bit. So this is the before, after, before, after. So you can click apply. So yes, this is our before. This is before we took it into uh, into exposure X4, and this is after we taking it into exposure X4. So you can just reduce the opacity. I think I'll just put it at 30. Yeah. So this is where we started from, and this is where we are now. Uh, my flare. And so you can still add other adjustment layers for this. I think I might just go to my color lookup, load, uh, I'll just load the one I created. I think this should do. All right, so I'll just bring the opacity down. Like minus 20, like 20 is fine. Go to photo filter, cooling filter, I guess. Yeah, this should be under this one. So I'll reduce the filter to around 46. Yeah, so this is the before and this is the after. So now we've given it that all these look that we wanted so if i should just rotate this image this is what it looks like we've given it the oldies vibe we wanted to give the image this is where we started from and this is where we are right now so i think i'm fine with the uh results like this i might just stick it into uh See what I've been doing is okay. Let me see if I need the flare. Ah, not bad. Very beyond there, yeah. Not bad. But it should come this way if it can. Now reduce the opacity a bit. Back. So, welcome back. So, I think I'll just reduce the opacity like that. So, yeah, this is perfect. This is the before, this is the after. Just perfect. The exact, this is exactly what I had in mind. So, let me just take this into camera arrow filter and see what other adjustments we can make to the image so i would stamp or i'll create a stamp layer that is 
control shift alt e on your keyboard if you're using a mac that will be command option shift e but if you're using a wacom tablet you can just configure the keys on your wacom tablet and just press and it will automatically run that action for you so i'll just take it into my camera roll filter so i'll come to filter camera roll filter and see what other adjustments i can make to the image uh let's see no i don't need to bring this up this is fine let's see if we reduce uh i think around um, eight is fine so the before and the after so i think that's just that here inside camera filter just reduce the vibrations. so i'll just run uh a bit of gradients on this image uh, I want to create that vignette feel on the image. Now, the reason why I'm not doing the vignette feel on the uh, in camera raw filter is because if I should run the vignettes in camera raw filter, it should only centralize on the middle of the image. Meanwhile, this is where I want uh, the vignette to fall on. So I will try and create the vignettes here inside Photoshop. So I'll select my gradients set the foreground color to black uh change the gradient style to radial then put it on reverse now i would zoom this out because i want it to be subtle as possible to be as subtle as possible all right so this is what we got this is before this is after before after i'll just reduce you can just change the blend mode to uh soft light yeah i think the soft light works better so this is the before this is the after i'll just reduce the opacity to let's say somewhere around 30 or 34 let's see before after yeah perfect so that's all i'll be doing on this image uh i don't think i will need to uh sharpen the image because the image is well sharpened already let me zoom in and see uh sorry yeah it's well sharpened so that is that about this image so i'll just go ahead and place my uh watermark on this image i'll go to that'll be here or uh, this oh, excuse me change to screen yeah place it somewhere so yeah let me just group all so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after just minimal um, time spent on photoshop minimal adjustment exactly what i had in mind this is how i cut it so a little recap of what we did uh first of all we did the uh adjustments right from camera of you that that was just the basic adjustment and i did my dodge and burn then i ran the fuji eternal 250 kodak lot made by photoshop made by adobe that is a photoshop uh i ran that one then i took the image into uh exposure x4 that is the alien skin software to just add a little bit of uh light streak and texture on the image then i ran i made uh i created a photo filter i just went and selected the cooling filter 82 i reduced the opacity to somewhere around 39 just to reduce uh the warmth of the image then i created my own flare which i later used then i ran uh my own created lot i would leave 
this dots in the description below for you guys to download uh hopefully you guys can find something to do with it and whenever you use the lots please tag me so i can give a shout out on my story or on my yeah on my story then after that i went into camera row filter to reduce the vibrance by 13 around 10. then i created a soft vignette around the image and i added my watermark so that was all we did simply because we got it right from the camera so uh, and i'm sorry for the long wait of not um posting videos consistently on youtube hopefully this is about to change so if you guys have any uh any questions or any parts of retouching you want me to talk about or treat please leave that in the comment section below and if this image has really if this tutorial has really helped you you guys should please share to other photographers so they can also gain what you gained here today and please don't forget to like and subscribe and share to others too thank you to the next video keep creating